Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a nice relaxed Sunday vlog. Um, it's been a stressful week at work so I just want to have a nice relaxed day to set me up for the week ahead. Made some breakfast for uh, me and Tom. Had a bit of a lazy morning to be honest but then just sat and had a chat with a coffee. Spent most of the morning in my pyjamas, the best type of Sunday in my opinion, lit some candles around the house and then just did a few tidying up jobs or a quick whip round I like to call it where you just wipe over the surfaces and have a little mop and a tidy. Sunday is the best day of the week in my opinion and I always just feel so much more prepared for the week ahead when I'm on top of stuff on a Sunday. So yeah, when it got to dinner time, I thought I better get in the shower and get ready for the day. These vlogs are becoming longer and longer. I hope that you're enjoying the longer vlogs and yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. Hello everyone, I'm out of the shower. Just gonna take my HRT before I forget. I usually take this a lot earlier in the morning actually, um, but I forgot this morning. Happy Sunday, hope you're all okay. I thought we could just do a little get ready with me this morning. I just wanted to have a little bit of a slow Sunday morning get ready and a bit of a chat and a catch up. I'm back on Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which I'll leave linked down below because it is a really nice lightweight moisturiser and it really hydrates your skin, which is what I need this time of year because the weather's changed now. <laughs> I always say it, but I'm turning into a flaky pasty before my own eyes. Um, I just get so dry and flaky in the winter. Best feeling ever, isn't it, opening a new pot of bougie moisturiser. So, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the recent comments and everything on my videos. I feel like I've got the same amazing people watching every single week at the moment and commenting such nice comments and really enjoying my videos, which honestly motivates me to make more so thank you so much uh, I've got my notifications switched on so every single time I get a comment on a YouTube video it comes through to my phone I might be having a really down moment and then just somebody says I really loved watching this vlog and it honestly makes, makes my day so this morning I'm just having a really really chilled one I've got a candle lit in the ensuite I've done a bit of tidying You'll have seen from the early clips, I had some breakfast with Tom this morning. He's gone into the garage doing his wood turning again. I'll show you the fruits of his labour <laughs> when I go downstairs in a bit. Do you know what? I'm going to move you as much as I love this mirror. I probably need you on the windowsill where you can see a bit better. Let's use a toilet roll and this as a tripod. <laughs> is that a little bit better? Yeah, I think it probably is. Everything that I'm using at the minute apart from this Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter is all like really cheap makeup um i think i said in a recent vlog like makeup just isn't interesting me that much at the minute but yeah what's the plan for today so i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna share a plt order that i've made this week um so i'll be trying some of that stuff on um, it's the plt pink friday sale and they've got discounts running um all of this month so a bit backward that i'm doing my lips first but i always do got a family rose planned later which will be really nice i'm gonna go and check on tom it's chucking it down at the moment but connie will be will need walking before we go out later so i'll probably have a little rainy walk um, which i don't mind And yeah, what have I got to catch you up on? I have booked Edinburgh. So I'm going to Edinburgh on the 15th of December with my mum and my sister, which I am so looking forward to, I can't wait. This is the concealer that I used. I bought that a couple of weeks ago and I really like it. It is um, the Maybelline Eraser. And then the Maybelline Superstay. What are you doing there, mister? <laughs> and then the Superstay. 24 hour skin tint by Maybelline. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. When I went to the hairdressers the other day, my hairdresser said that my makeup looked flawless. I don't think anyone's ever said that to me ever in my life before. I was like, oh my God, thank you. It's just this stuff, which is about a tenner. Comes with a little pipette. Um, I'm wearing the shade, it's just a number 23. Um, but my best friend told me about it and 
even yesterday when we went to the garden centre together, she said, what, what foundation are you wearing? And I said, I was like, you told me about it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just really, really nice. If you like a dewy finish and you don't like full coverage, which I don't anymore, I feel like now that my skin's aging a little bit, I am 35 in April. I definitely feel like less is more on my skin. It doesn't feel thick like a foundation. It's more like a serum -y. I don't know, I can't really describe it, it's just really, really nice. And I am thoroughly enjoying using it at the moment. So yeah, back to Edinburgh. Um, have any of you been around Christmas time at Edinburgh Playhouse where kids playing but they have no tickets so um, we can't do that, which, which I'm a bit devastated about. It's my mum's birthday the week before we go and I would have loved to have got our tickets as a surprise but um, yeah, that's not going to happen so... I don't even know why I'm carrying on talking about it. I've always wanted to see Wicked. Me and Tom were going to book um, to go to Whitbay before Christmas as a little weekend away, but we've sacked that idea off now because um, November and December are expensive, aren't they? Like, I mean, my Christmas day at work has been cancelled, so I don't need to buy an outfit for that or anything. There's two pay days left before Christmas, and because I'm going to Edinburgh, I can't really justify doing another trip before Christmas. So we've not that one on the head because Tom's got a lot of work stuff planned as well. He's going to Italy at the beginning of December with work. Um, so yeah, and I really like being at home on the lead up to Christmas actually. So I'm not too fussed. I, I said to Tom, well, shall we leave it then and go when it's a little bit cheaper in January, February time and there's not much else going on. And he was like, yeah, I agree. So that's what we're going to do instead. We're going to be doing a little mini budget makeover on the main bathroom um, throughout December. So when I'm away in Edinburgh, Tom's going to be working on that bathroom. So yeah, there's just going to be quite a lot going on in November and December. So I think we're just going to leave the Whitby thing parked and I'll just be going to Edinburgh, which, which I know I keep saying I can't wait for but I can't wait for it. If you've got recommendations for things that we should do in Edinburgh, I have been once before with Tom, but I've never been at Christmas. So yeah, if you've got recommendations of things that we, that things that are like must do's in Edinburgh, please let me know. I've done like a ghost, a ghost tour thing, like a history thing uh, when I went with Tom and I really, really enjoyed that. So anything like that, I'd be up for. Although nothing too scary. <laughs> Places to eat that are nice, please let me know in the comments. It'll help me when I'm researching on what to do and where to go. Are any of you watching anything good on Netflix at the moment? I have told my hairdresser to watch This Is Us, which isn't on Netflix, it's a Disney Channel thing. I wonder if she's started it or not. I hope she has. Please tell me if you're a This Is Us fan out there. I felt like I needed a bit of time off, off work after that ended because it was just extremely emotional. I had to take breaks halfway through watching it um, just because it got to me a bit too much. Um, I mean, there was a lot of horrible stuff going on in my life at the time I was watching that, so that probably didn't help me. Maybe when you're going through bad t bad times yourself, you should watch something that helps like cheer you up. But, um, that was like my comfort series when I was going through a bad time last year. I still haven't finished The Long Shadow. I'm only two episodes into that, so I might go back to that. Um, bodies, I'm not getting on with that. As much as I love Stephen Graham, I'm not feeling bodies. I feel like it's weird and I can't get into it. Oh, Boiling Point's good. Um, so it's, that is Stephen Graham. And the first thing is a film, which is like all done in one take, I think watched it a while ago I can't remember and then the thing that I've just watched is the series like the spin-off series of that and uh, that is really good so just finished that what else have we watched recently boiling point um, oh time <laughs> right so time is two series as well the first one it's a BBC iPlayer thing so the first series was really 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 good and that was out a few years ago and I watched that but it upset me a little bit because I really like the man in it and horrible stuff happens. But the second series is about women in prison and oh my God, it's incredible. So, so good. The main actress in it, I'm not 
the biggest fan of her. She, I think she was Doctor Who at one point, so you might know who I mean. Um, I'm not, a big, she means she's a really, really good actress, but she's not my fave. Like, you know, you've got your like, favourite people that you like, like, I really like Maxine Peake. And I really like Sarah Lancashire. But this, the one in time, like she's not my fave. There's a couple of recommendations from me. So you know the kind of things that I like now. Is there anything that you would recommend for me to watch based on my recommendations to you? Let me know. <laughs> I've been wearing a bit of brown eyeliner in my top waterline. This might make you feel a bit queasy watching this. Don't feel like it really does anything, to be honest. <laughs> but my sister bought one the other day and I was like, oh, I'll have one of them. And do the same and I bought a brown mascara, but I can't find it anywhere, so I'm going to have to use this old one. It is the same Maybelline Sky High one in brown. But yeah, there it is. Come here, you. Gotcha. Look at it. Brown. I'm having a don't wear too much mascara moment at the moment. Literally just the tiniest little layer and that's better for me. It stops my eyes looking heavy and more saggy than normal. <laughs> I would put a bit of brown liner on my bottom, on my bottom waterline, but I feel like it draws, draws attention to my bags and it, <laughs> it also makes me feel a little bit like Marilyn Manson, so we won't do that. I saw a meme the other day that made me really laugh and it said um, collagen's wasted on children and it's actually true in it like what six year old is grateful to have dewy skin they're just not are they right I forgot blush but I actually can't be bothered I shut this window and we can do a haul so I'm dressed now by the way PLT Pink Friday is here. I have got two big massive bags to show you and um, they got delivered this morning which Connie was very very pleased about. You might have seen it on my Instagram. Every driver that drops off my PLT parcels always gives her like a little house dog biscuit or a little bone dog biscuit and she knows that when she sees the pink unicorn she's getting biscuits. Shall we jump into this haul and I'll show you everything that I've got. I definitely went with the theme of basic slash loungewear. There's a bit of denim in here, jeans which usually scares me to death buying jeans but I'm quite pleasantly surprised by what I've got. So the first thing I picked up was this cardigan and they do this in a few different colours. They do a chocolate brown, I think they do a grey but I wanted this colour. Bought it in a large and it is the oatmeal colour um, but that is my favourite type of knit. I always feel like it washes the best um, and you'll see from the try on clip it just hangs really nicely on your body. It's not itchy material, the colour is absolutely gorgeous. The sleeves are quite big, it's got a very like oversized cosy feeling to it. I just feel like that is something that will see me through the winter but also into like early spring as well. When you go to the website, this might be discounted even further, so I won't bother mentioning the prices. I will just leave everything linked down below so you can go and have a look yourself. Now, I hate jean shopping. For reference, I am 4 foot 11 and I am between a 12 and 14, I would say, on the bottom at the moment. I picked these up in a 12, but these are from the petite section and I just love the colour of these. I've seen my sister wearing that same cardigan with jeans like this and Uggs and she looked amazing so I wanted to try and replicate the outfit and I thought that even if these are too long, which they are, I can chop them. You can literally just cut them because they're a raw hem anyway, as you can see, and uh, get a razor and fray the ends of the jeans. Now, if you are five foot two, five foot three, you, you won't need to cut them. Um, it's just if you're on the lower end of petite like me, 4 foot 11, most stuff needs altering to be honest. Try these on, they are a little bit snug on me but I would still say stay true to size because um, whilst they are a little bit snug and I felt like I was going to have a white chicks moment, you know where, you know where they're in the dressing room and the button like pops out and smashes into the mirror. But luckily not, I'm definitely not sending them back, I just loved the way that they fit me. Um, it's very, very rare that I can find jeans that fit me on my waist and around my hips and my bum, which these did. So, yeah, I can't pass up on a pair of jeans like this. I'm just going to have to try and 
make these feel a little bit more comfortable and you can belt these as well so if you did size up i suppose if they were a little bit baggy then you'd be okay but um yeah i just think that they are gorgeous they're a straight leg and i feel like these are quite versatile as well i'll be able to wear them with heels and i'll be able to wear them dressed down like i said with uggs and a cardigan i tried on these jeans as well with this jumper which is also a part of the haul so um this is part of a cord this and it's got the split down the side it is the softest material i've ever felt in my life i got this in um a large you'll see in the try on clip now i ordered a large in the trousers i could have got a small in the trousers they are that wafty and stretchy i'm generally smaller on the top than the bottom um but i love everything being really oversized here whereas the large trousers were a little bit too wide on the waist i had mixed feelings when i tried this on i was thinking i'm going for a rose later i want to keep this on it just feels so nice and then part of me was thinking no save it for christmas day because i am a dress down girl on christmas day i don't know about you it doesn't feel like loungewear it feels special that's the only way i can explain it and they do this in a few different colours as well. They've got like a charcoal colour, which is gorgeous. My sister's hosting this year. I'm probably going to rock up with this jumper on and these trousers, um, pair of slippers and be so happy, um, but still feel put together, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, absolutely love that outfit. I've had to put the big light on because it was going very, very dark then, wasn't it? Hope this lighting is a little bit better. <laughs> oh! The next thing I've got to show you is another pair of knitted trousers. So I think you can tell right now that comfort is key when it comes to me. I have got a couple of dressier bits in this haul. But generally speaking, this time of year I want to be cosy and comfy. These trousers feel amazing. Some knitted trousers can feel a little bit scratchy. These don't feel like that at all. They're just a little bit too big for me. So I am going to have to exchange these. Um, and I couldn't try them on for the try on clip, but you get the gist. They're just a pair of really wide leg, comfortable, thick, not see through whatsoever trousers. I will leave them linked for you. These aren't petite, so when I exchange these, I'll probably get a medium instead of a large, but yeah, really, really lovely and will be like a staple thing that I wear this winter. The next thing that I got was a little interesting for me considering I don't go anywhere, what was I thinking? But what I like about this is that you could dress it up or down. I'll put a picture on of what it looks like on the model. This is new in the petite range and jumpsuits usually come through for me on PLT petite. The trouser section is flared. The only place it doesn't fit me perfect is where the pockets are. And I think it's because my hips are quite big, the pockets sort of bulge out a little bit. Um, so if you don't have extremely wide hips like I do then you would be okay with this. I would probably feel comfortable with it dressed down. I also think it would look really nice this is an outfit with heels and like a blazer just you know over your shoulders. I think that that could look really really nice. I love the square neckline. I like the fact that it's a little bit distressed here as well. It adds a bit of something and can make it look a little bit more casual if that's the look that you're going for. So yeah PLT jumpsuits always get a big fat yes from me and that one definitely does. I love the blue one as well. Um, I think it's so nice but I just think that this is a bit more winter. That's what I thought. Okay, the next thing I got was this. It's like a very oversized wool bomber. Um, I haven't done a try on clip of this so I'll just try it on here quickly. It's very oversized but probably will be taking this to Edinburgh with me. I love that you can kind of tuck it under like that it looks <laughs> big but I love it like absolutely love this um, they do it in cream as well actually but I just thought black's a little bit better for me with makeup I've learned the hard way with cream coats before it's long enough for it to cover your bum if you want it to but you could also wear it a bit more like this and done up too this isn't petite um but I just like really like the look of it and I don't mind coats not being petite either because as long as you can roll the sleeves up if you need to, um, which you can with this. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this over winter. It's got pockets as well. Perfect. Okay, I'm obsessed with this jacket. So this is a cropped trench. How gorgeous is that? This colour I am obsessed with at the moment. I keep buying things in this colour, this charcoal colour. I think it looks really nice with blonde hair. I love the tortoise shell detail on this. I love the fact that it's different to a normal camel trench that you can get anywhere. They do actually do this on PLT in the camel colour. 
Um, but I just thought this was really different. I love the sleeves on this. So nice. Tried this on earlier on um, and showed Tom. And he said, I think you need to size down in that. But then when I put my crossbody bag on with it and the whole light fit together, you no, know, it looked like it was supposed to be oversized and I loved it. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be sending this back. I would say stay true to sizing this. I got this in a 12. You could probably size down one if you don't want that really oversized look. If you are petite, I would just say make sure that on the sleeves you pull them tight and then it looks a little bit more like it's supposed to be oversized but fitted on your arms. I really, really love this coat. So yeah, that's everything that I got from PLT and I just wanted to say a big thank you to them for gifting me those clothes. Like I couldn't believe it when I got the email through. I was like gobsmacked and a bit confused <laughs> but extremely extremely grateful i have shopped at plt for years and years and years so it was an absolute no-brainer you know to say yes when they offered to send me some pieces from the new in section so so yeah keep your eye out for the discounts at the minute they've got some really good ones um i've got a couple of other bits in my wish list a cream cardigan uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to buy that next week. I'll, I'll link that down below along with everything else that you've seen in today's haul. And I'm getting a bit of cabin fever from being upstairs for quite a bit. So I'm going to go downstairs and um, arrange some flowers that Tom bought for me on Friday night. I am having the most chilled Sunday ever. I hope you're having a nice relaxing day while you're watching this. Can you say hello to the vlog? Can I have a kiss, please? Oh, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh. I'm in love with you. I, I, I. I feel like I'm getting into the Christmas spirit a little bit earlier this year. Um, than normal. I won't be able to put my tree up till the first weekend in December because we get a real tree every year and it would look all limp if we got it any earlier than that. But let me show you my new couple of special baubles that I got for my tree. I just buy one or two nice ones every year now and add to the collection. So yeah, let me go and show you the new, the two new ones that I picked up yesterday from the garden centre and Connie's new, oh, I'm gonna have to try it on her. Connie's new little Christmas cardigan. So this was the first bauble that I got. I'll put a picture of what my Christmas tree looked like last year. It'll look the same this year with just like a couple of little bits added. But this is a Gisela Graham bauble glass. Um, it's got like, I think it's supposed to be eucalyptus, but it's, yeah, that's what it looks like. A lot of my baubles have got a bit of green on them and a lot of them are glass, so that will go perfectly with my tree. So I got that one. Gisela Graham again, but this one was 4 99 I love it. Quite a few of mine look like this actually. So yeah, I've got those two. And then this is my cardigan. I'll let her out for a wee and then I'll show you. She's scratching at the door and then refusing to go out. So I got it in a medium. It's from a brand called So. That's the brand name. Let's get the skitters. It says please insert dog on it. So this was £20, right? And I picked it up and then I put it down and then I picked it back up again. And then I put it down again, and then I thought, it can be a Christmas present, honey. So I'm justifying it anyway. Really, look at the detailing on it first before I put it on. It's got pink on it. Oh, little reindeers. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love it. And little buttons. So it's like a proper Christmas cardigan. Let's put it on her and see. Definitely doesn't run away from jumpers. I think she likes getting dressed up. Or am I just telling myself like that so I don't feel... That's I don't feel cruel. Oh my word, look how smart you look. Oh, <laughs> that was worth 20 pound. That has made my day, you look so pretty. Let's have a little chat, shall we, while I arrange my gorgeous flowers that Tom got me on Friday. Shall I go into it on this video? The reason behind him buying me these flowers? Yeah, I will. Right, considering I've had cancer, and we went through losing my stepdad last year and I've actually been through quite a lot. <laughs> when I actually think about the stuff that has happened to me in the last five, six years, it's it's crackers, it actually is. But I've been very lucky where mental health is concerned that 
it's never gone past the point of me feeling like, okay, I need to speak to somebody now. I speak to somebody, I get that help and I feel a lot better. I've never felt like I've ever been that bad or felt like I'm not going to get out of this hole that I've got myself, that I feel like I've got myself into. I hope that makes sense. I know a lot of people struggle with mental health and I know that a lot of people suffer a lot more than I ever have done. But I know that I can come across on my channel like I am very, very positive and I get a lot of messages, especially on Instagram, from other people that have had cancer that have just found my page. It's really wonky and annoying me. That have just found my page through having had cancer themselves and they like the fact that I come across positive on there and things like that. But I do have my fair share of downs as well as ups. I think it's important if you're on YouTube or Instagram, you don't have to tell everybody everything about you, but I do think it's important sometimes to say when you're feeling down and talk about it with people. It makes other people feel a lot less alone, I find. Like, when I'm watching other people, I do prefer to see both sides of it. Nobody benefits from seeing everything perfect all the time, do they? Anyway, where am I going with this? So the reason that Tom bought me these on Friday night, I was having a really, really bad day on Friday. I felt a bit ill on Thursday, but usually feeling ill doesn't make me cranky and emotional or anything. But I just felt really overwhelmed. Couldn't put my finger on why. Didn't know what was causing it. Luckily, my health's okay at the minute. Yes, these bladder symptoms that are ongoing are getting me down. I might subconsciously feel a little bit anxious over the fact that I haven't had any cancer scans recently. Um, I've not been called to go for one. Maybe that's something subconsciously that's bothering me that I didn't know was bothering me, but I'm literally looking for stuff at this point. I don't know what was wrong with me on Friday. And I was trying to talk to Tom about it and explain to him, like, I can't do a full deep breath and I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not upset about anything in particular. Um... I just, I don't know what I need right now, Tom, but I just, I'm, I'm just struggling. Like, I don't know. Oh, it didn't feel like a panic attack, panic attack was coming on or anything like that. I mean, it might have ended up turning into a panic attack if Tom, <laughs> I'm saying it like, if Tom hadn't bought me these words, I'd have had a panic attack. No, that's not what I'm saying. If he didn't help me by like, just going, just being really calm around me the way that he was. And honestly, that's one of the reasons why I love Tom to bits because, and one of the reasons why I knew I wanted to marry him because he's just so good. He might not understand what you're talking about, but he's so good at bringing you down and just... Does it make me feel silly or anything? I'm talking like I do this all the time and I don't. Like, this is this is a bit out of the ordinary for me to feel like this. He ended up going to the supermarket and he came back with that candle for me, for Balster. And these flowers, which are stunning. Like, I would never choose them for myself. That's why I love being bought flowers, because I always end up with things that... I wouldn't choose myself, even though I buy myself a lot of flowers. And yeah, he just, he just sorted me out straight away and I, I didn't know what I needed, but, and he didn't do anything in particular. So when I woke up the next day, I look at it, it was a new day and like, I don't try not to dwell on stuff. I try and overanalyze stuff either. Like, I know I've just been trying to work out then why I might have been upset. It's probably a mixture of everything at the minute. Like I said, I've had quite a stressful week in work. It started going really dark really early, which usually I love. And, but maybe that's a factor. I don't, you know when you just can't put your finger on it? I know I keep saying that, but it's true. But if any of you are feeling like that at the minute, just a little bit out of sorts and not yourself, you're not on your own. And just because you see positive people on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is that you're consuming your content on, TikTok or whatever. Just know that these people won't always be okay all of the time. Um, nobody is. I think sometimes it's helpful to know that so that you don't feel like, why am I not okay? Luckily, I've never been a person that does that really, I compare myself to other people. Um, I think if I did, I wouldn't be doing YouTube because people who do YouTube get hung up on numbers and things like that. There'll be somebody on Instagram who ends up getting 10,000 followers overnight, makes a YouTube channel and they get 10,000 followers for not, like, without putting any effort in. It's taken me about four years to get the amount of subscribers that I've got on, on YouTube. And the way I see it is, honestly, I don't mind having a small channel. And the reason why is because <laughs> the less people who watch your videos, the less ag you'll probably get online. I know that a lot of people get a lot of stick online and 
get a lot of opinions. I've had the odd nasty comment on my videos, but when it's something to do with cancer, like I've had somebody say before, you talk about having cancer, but you sat there with a gin. Not, not in those words, um, I'm struggling to have sympathy or something like as if I got cancer because I drink. Um, and comments like that I can laugh at, like I can just be like, well you know nothing. Um, so the fact that I've got quite a small channel, I quite like it. Um, I just thought we'd have that little chat whilst I put these flowers in the vase and I really, really love them. They look really pretty. I'm going to put them on the island now and get rid of all this crapola. <laughs> I've just walked Connie. Um, just got back. We're just about to head for a roast now. So I've just got Tom's scarf on, that jumper from PLT that I showed earlier on, and then the black bomber. Um, and I'm just going to wear some white trainers and I've got some flared leggings on that road. Very, very comfy, chilled, cosy outfit. That's it, Connie. I've just took you for a walk, but you have a wee on the fresh grass that's just been put down only a couple of months ago. No worries, darling. Hello everyone, just got back from tea and I'm going to make hot chocolate in my little Christmas tree mug that I got from Home Bargains. We met up with my sister for that roast and just got chatting and I completely forgot to vlog. I'm gonna make hot chocolate and get settled for there, but before I do, I wanted to show you what Tom made on the wood turning table last week. Um, Cause I said I would show you when he'd finished the bowl, didn't I? So this is what he made out of maple wood. And I've just sat it on a bookcase with a little cloche. And I think that looks really, really good. Um, so we finished it with some Danish oil and then today, whilst it's been quiet and he's not been around, he's been in the garage all day today as well and he made me a little Christmas tree out of the beans that used to be in the kitchen. This hot chocolate by the way is amazing, it's Lawson on Slimming World. That looks so good. Right, I'm gonna drink this then go and get my PJs on. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.